HELLP syndrome, Wikipedia audio. HELLP syndrome is a life threatening pregnancy complication usually considered to be a variant or complication of preeclampsia. Both conditions usually occur during the later stages of pregnancy, or sometimes after childbirth. HELLP is an abbreviation of the three main features of the syndrome. H. hemolysis, elevated L. liver enzymes, and L. P. latelet count. The syndrome may be associated with serious liver manifestations, including death of liver cells due to inadequate blood flow and oxygen delivery, bleeding, and rupture. HELLP usually begins during the third trimester, rare cases have been reported as early as 21 weeks gestation. Often, a woman who develops HELLP syndrome has already been followed up for pregnancy-induced hypertension, or is suspected to develop preeclampsia. Up to 8% of all cases occur after delivery. Women with HELLP syndrome often appear non-toxic. Early symptoms can include Signs and Symptoms Gradual but marked onset of headaches, blurred vision, and paresthesia can occur. Edema may occur, but its absence does not exclude HELLP syndrome. Arterial hypertension is a diagnostic requirement, but may be mild. Rupture of the liver capsule and a resultant hematoma may occur. If a woman has a seizure or coma, the condition has progressed into full-blown eclampsia. Disseminated intravascular coagulation is also seen in about 20% of all women with HELLP syndrome, and in 84% when HELLP is complicated by acute renal failure. Pulmonary edema is found in 6% of all women with HELLP syndrome and when HELLP is complicated by acute renal failure, pulmonary edema is found in 44% of women with the syndrome. In 90% of cases, either epigastric pain described as heartburn or right upper quadrant pain develops, in 90% of cases, malaise occurs, in 50% of cases, nausea or vomiting happen. A woman with symptoms of HELLP can be misdiagnosed in the early stages, increasing the risk of liver failure and morbidity. Rarely, after a cesarean section surgery, a woman may have signs and symptoms of a shock condition mimicking either pulmonary embolism or reactionary hemorrhage. The exact cause of HELLP is unknown but general activation of the coagulation cascade is considered the main underlying problem. Fibrin forms cross-linked networks in the small blood vessels. The formation of these networks leads to a microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, the mesh causes destruction of red blood cells as if they were being forced through a strainer. Additionally, platelets are consumed. As the liver appears to be the main site of this process, downstream liver cells suffer ischemia, leading to periportal necrosis. Other organs can be similarly affected. HELLP syndrome leads to a variant form of disseminated intravascular coagulation, leading to paradoxical bleeding, which can make emergency surgery a challenge. An association has been demonstrated between long-chain long-chain 3-hydroxyacyl coenzyme A dehydrogenase deficiency of the child and maternal HELLP and acute fatty liver of pregnancy. This inherited, autosomal recessive abnormality of fatty acid oxidation can result in significant morbidity and mortality in infants, if untreated. Treatment with dietary manipulation is possible. About 80% of infants with LCHAD deficiency have been born after pregnancies complicated by AFLP or HELLP. However, 
how many pregnancies complicated by AFLP or HELLP result in infants with LCHAD deficiency is not known. HELLP syndrome can be difficult to diagnose due to the variability of symptoms among pregnant women, and early diagnosis is key in reducing morbidity. If not treated in a timely manner, a woman can become critically ill or die due to liver rupture slash hemorrhage or cerebral edema. In a woman with possible HELLP syndrome, a batch of blood tests is performed a full blood count, a coagulation panel, liver enzymes, electrolytes, and renal function studies. Often, fibrin degradation product levels are determined, which can be elevated. Lactate dehydrogenase is a marker of hemolysis and is elevated. Proteinuria is present but can be mild. Criteria developed at the University of Tennessee HELLP is characterized by hemolysis on peripheral blood smear with serum lactate dehydrogenase greater than 600 IU/L, serum aspartate aminotransferase greater than 70 IU/L, and platelet count 100,000/mul. Partial HELLP syndrome is characterized by one or two features of HELLP. In one 1995 study, a positive D-dimer test in the presence of preeclampsia was reported to be predictive of women who will develop HELLP syndrome. The diagnostic criteria for and subtypes of HELLP vary across studies, which makes comparison of published data difficult. The classifications include Pathophysiology the only effective treatment is prompt delivery of the baby. Several medications have been investigated for the treatment of HELLP syndrome, but evidence is conflicting as to whether magnesium sulfate decreases the risk of seizures and progress to eclampsia. The disseminated intravascular coagulation is treated with fresh frozen plasma to replenish the coagulation proteins and the anemia may require blood transfusion. In mild cases, corticosteroids and antihypertensives may be sufficient. Intravenous fluids are generally required. Hepatic hemorrhage can be treated with embolization, as well, if life-threatening bleeding ensues. The University of Mississippi Standard Protocol for HELLP includes corticosteroids. However, a 2009 review found no conclusive evidence supporting corticosteroid therapy, and a 2010 systematic review by the Cochrane Collaboration also found no clear evidence of any effect of corticosteroids on substantive clinical outcomes either for the mothers or for the newborns. With treatment, maternal mortality is about 1%, although complications such as placental abruption, acute renal failure, subcapsular liver hematoma, permanent liver damage, and retinal detachment occur in about 25% of women. Perinatal mortality is between 73 and 119 per 1,000 babies of women with HELLP, while up to 40% are small for gestational age. In general, however, factors such as gestational age are more important than the severity of HELLP in determining the outcome in the baby. Its incidence is reported as 0.5 to 0.9 percent of all pregnancies, and 10 to 20 percent of women with severe preeclampsia. HELLP usually occurs in Caucasian women over the age of 25. HELLP syndrome was identified as a distinct clinical entity by Dr. Louis Weinstein in 1982. In a 2005 article, Weinstein wrote that the unexplained postpartum death of a woman who had hemolysis, 
abnormal liver function, thrombocytopenia, and hypoglycemia motivated him to review the medical literature and to compile information on similar women. He noted that cases with features of HELLP had been reported as early as 1954. Diagnosis and Classification Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology History